Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is SNK's latest game that people cannot wait to learn more about. But believe it or not, we already know quite a lot. In this video, we're going to sum up everything we know about Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. But before we get started, gentle reminder to like and subscribe. The premise. Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is a sequel to the Fatal Fury franchise. It is set after the events of Fatal Fury Mark of the Wolves, or as the majority know it, Garou Mark of the Wolves. While the game is a sequel to Mark of the Wolves, it is not the cancelled Garou Mark of the Wolves 2, which was in development before SNK went bankrupt in the early 2000s. The cancelled version had only the Garou Mark of the Wolves cast with other new characters. This new game, City of the Wolves, is a sequel to both the old Fatal Fury games as well as Mark of the Wolves, which means characters from both era of the franchise will make their return. It is also the seventh canonical entry in the franchise. Looking at the game's logo, you can see seven claw marks. It was confirmed that each claw mark represent a canon entry in the Fatal Fury franchise. These have been revealed to be the first Fatal Fury, which was also remade in the Wild Ambition game, Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury 3, Real Bout, Real Bout 2, and Garo Mark of the Wolves. Surprisingly, the Fatal Fury Real Bout special dominated mine, which had an original story, does not seem to be canon. Graphics When the game was announced, I saw many people online hoping that the game is going to use 2D sprites. Now, I made a whole video about why this is not possible in the current times, and it was confirmed when we saw the game in motion in the last teaser trailer for Fate of Fury City of the Wolves. The game is going to use the Unreal Engine, and from the looks of it, has a distinct visual style. The characters are all 3D models, but look like 2D painting, it seems like the goal is to have the characters look a little bit like the artwork from Garou of the Wolves, which was done by SNK artist veteran Tonko. The stages look to be very colorful and vibrant, and the characters' clothing and hair physics look on another level. The game absolutely looks stunning, and we cannot wait to see more of it. The characters. Now, even though we only saw a brief gameplay teaser of City of the Wolves, Believe it or not, we do know at least 13 characters that are going to be part of the game when it launches. First of all, the trio of Terry, Andy and Joe are making a comeback. Obviously Rock Howard, who can be seen as the new protagonist of the series, has been the first character to be confirmed. Joining Rock, we also know that Billy Khan and Kane will make the return but other characters as well thanks to the last teaser which we heard the voices of several characters that have yet to be officially announced. These characters are Mai Shiranui, Hokutomaru, Tizok, Marco Rodriguez, Gato, B. Janet, and Hotaru Futaba. With 13 characters already confirmed, one can only realize that the launch roster is going to be big. Gameplay Mechanics Obviously, it's way too early to talk about gameplay mechanics, but there's one thing that now we know for sure. Fatal Fury, since its inception, had a unique gameplay mechanic, the two-lane or multi-lane system, where characters can shift to different lanes of the same 2D stage. Now, while this is not something that many people enjoyed, it was still a characteristic of the early Fatal Fury games. In fact, the majority of the franchise uses the multi-lane system with the exception of couple titles, including Garou Mark of the Wolves. So since the announcement of City of the Wolves, many wondered, will Fatal Fury go back to the multi-lane systems? Game producer Yasuo Kiyoda confirmed a few weeks ago that Fatal Fury City of the Wolves will use a one-lane system similar to Mark of the Wolves. However, the gameplay system will be quite unique and different. We don't have any more information, but suffice to say, we're looking at a one-play, unique gameplay system. Online modes and netcode. A modern fighting game will succeed based not only on its offline features, but of course, the online mode and specifically the netcode. 
Recent games have adopted the true and tried rollback netcode, and Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is no exception, as Yasuki Oda, the game producer, has confirmed that the game will ship with rollback netcode. Hardly a surprise since the King of Fighters 15, SNK's last major release, came out with rollback netcode, and the company has been patching and adding the feature to many of its games, like Samurai Showdown and the and the old KOF games. Single player content. One of the concerns that many people had over the previous releases of SNK was the lack of single player content, usually only limited to an arcade mode. However, recent games from other publishers like Street Fighter 6 from Capcom or Mortal Kombat 1 from NetherRealm Studios offered a multitude of offline modes to satisfy players who are not into the online portion of the game. Luckily, City of the Wolves producer has confirmed that there's going to be a major focus on the single-player modes of the game. Yasuriki Oda even hinted that there's going to be a focus on the story of the game, something that has the King of Fighters and Fatal Fury lore fans very happy. Controls Modern fighting games have had an option for easy controls for new players to the genre, and according to Yasuriki Oda, Fatal Fury City of the Wolves will offer a similar option. When specifically asked about the modern control mode used in Street Fighter VI, Yasuiki Oda said that he wants to experiment with this form of control. Having a modern control or an easy mode has nothing to do with the traditional way of controlling games. I see a lot of people getting mad whenever a game offers easy mode. Now remember, this mode is probably not for you if you know how to play fighting games and you are more comfortable using a stick with four buttons. So again, the more options, the better. Release platforms. Obviously, it's a little bit too early to talk about the release platform. However, we do know that the game is coming out on modern platforms and also PC. Game producer Yasuki Oda said that he wants the game to be released on as many platforms as possible, as well as PC at the same time. And again, this is hardly a surprise because the King of Fighters 15 was released on all major platforms and PC at the same time. Release Schedule We don't know when Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is coming out, but if one has to guess, it will be next year 2024. SNK has not announced a release window yet, but they said that they're planning to advertise the game heavily starting the beginning of next year. The company has said that they will be taking the game to major offline events to let people try and test Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. This is everything that we know so far about Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. The Fatal Fury franchise has had a great history. When the first game came out in 1991, it literally changed the fighting game genre, which is why you should check my history of the first game as well as its sequels to learn everything there is about the Fatal Fury franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time.